some uh, sheep lap on the stairs on the staircase wall when we replaced our uh, stairs with wood and we ripped off the carpet the trim that was on there was on so tight that we ended up having to rip you can see rip the uh, drywall so I'm going to take off all that and see there were so many areas that I would have needed to patch up so I think it's just better for us to do a little ship lap ship lap ship lap ship lap over on that wall So this is what it looks like now. To get started, that's the first piece. I removed the baseboard and I'll just make sure to make sure everything is level and just start taking it up the wall. In between, I'm probably going to use, I'm really supposed to use like a metal square it will make things a lot easier but i can't find it so i'll just have to use like uh some coins in the middle some quarters or whatever i have on hand done uh the main thing to think about when you're doing it is always keep putting a level because sometimes the walls are not straight and therefore you you want your boards to remain straight so you may have to like have a little bit of a bigger gap in some areas and there's a smaller gap in other areas if you want your, your boards to remain level so let's put a level on it make sure it's level and then So I finished applying all the ship lap all the way to the top and I have uh, we have also applied the trim to the sides. And now the next thing would be to apply the finishing touches, which at this point, cork is your friend. As well as spackle for little pinholes like these, where the nails went in from the nail gun. I tend to use speckle because it, it, as it dries, it doesn't shrink. And then for lines like this, I would use the uh, cork because if the house shifts or anything, the uh, corking is more elastic and it will kind of move back and forth with the, with the wood if it, uh, shrinks, as it uh, shrinks or expands. So the final thing left is to... Uh, do that and then I will paint and show you the finished product. But it's looking good. Alright guys, so this is the completed wall. It wasn't hard, it was just a little bit time consuming because I only bought a few boards and I was trying not to have any waste. So I had to do a lot of cuts and plus you see that little side wall over there has a lot of uh, cuts so the walking back and forth was kind of tedious. But other than that it's really simple. The product I used, these boards, I will link them down below. They just stack together so I ended up finding out that I didn't even need to use 
any quarters in between or anything like that. They just take and leave that uh, nice gap in the middle. So that's it. The product was uh, simple to use. I think it took us about eight to 10 hours to do everything, put the trim back on and party and paint and everything. So it's definitely something that you could take on in a weekend. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.